SCP Secret Laboratory. What is it? SCPSL is a free to play multiplayer horror game inspired by the SCP universe. Now you may be wondering, what is SCP? The SCP Foundation is a fictional shared organization made by people collaborating on a wiki project. The SCP wiki has a shared universe with over 700 articles in writing, and with a metric buttfuck ton of people writing it. What did the devs at Northwood do? They made a game where you run around, try and escape, or kill everyone in your way. Which is the most goddamn American thing I've ever heard. The SCP facility that you will be playing in SCP SL is split up into four sections. Light, Heavy, Entrance, and Surface. So SCPSL is a team-based game where you have to play as a team. You'll spawn in as either one of four options. D-Boys! You are the wild card of the facility and your only job is to get out, no matter who or what's in your way. Scientist. As a scientist, your job is to escape, but also to stop D-Boys or even kill SCPs. Sight Guard. Your job is to help D-Boys and scientists get out of the facility, but we all know you're going to kill every D-Boy you see. SCPs. SCPs come in many shapes, sizes, and colors, and your main job is to kill everybody, no matter who it is. They must die, even if you're a friend. And since there are so many SCPs, I'll explain each playable SCP. SCP-173, or known as a statue, or as the community calls them, Bina, can move very fast, snap people's necks with a single click when nobody's looking at them. And while being looked at, they have a 3 second blink cooldown that you cannot move during the cooldown. And when the cooldown's over, you can right click to teleport. And when you teleport, you will kill anybody inside of you. Oh yeah, you can also press F to take a fat fucking shit. And you can press shift to go really fast. SCP-096, or known as the Shy Guy, will walk around wailing his cry. You can press M2 on a wall or door to make sure your cries are just a little bit more quiet. And if somebody sees your face, you will enter a rage which allows 096 to attack, charge, break doors, and open gates in order to kill the person who looked at you. And yes, having a 173 and a 096 on one team are very good at killing people. SCP-049, or known as the Plague Doctor, is a very simple SCP. You can press F when you see somebody to get a small speed boost. When you touch somebody, it'll give them the cardiac attack effect. This effect will deal 120 damage over time when you touch your victims. And if you touch your victims again, they will die instantly. When you see a fresh dead body, you can revive them to become a SCP-0492, or a zombie. The zombies are the real power of 049. You can press R in order to heal all the zombies around you. And the biggest power of the zombies is that zombies can't respawn as one of the attacking human classes. SCP-106, or known as the Old Man or called by the community, Larry, is a very simple SCP. You can walk around the map to gain Vigor. Vigor allows you to teleport, and you can also go under the map in order to gain health. When you touch somebody two times, you will pull them into your pocket dimension. Your pocket dimension, they'll have to walk into one of eight doors, and only one of these doors are safe or the other seven will kill them. And if they get out of the pocket dimension, you can touch them simply once and they'll die. SCP-939, or known as with many voices or called by the community, dog, can only see noises or anything very close to you. If you hold F, you little gas makes you invisible while standing still inside of the gap. And you can hold C to get ready to pounce and you'll kill anybody you jump on. And the dog is the only SCP that can run, but your stamina affects your vision as the lower stamina bar you have. And you will make a loud grunt sound when you're out of stamina. If you kill somebody as 9 9 you'll get their last words, and you can re repeat their last words to sound you're human. SCP-079, or known as the old AI, or as the community calls them, computer. Oh fuck, where did I begin? Well, 079 is the only SCP that can't kill a human, and to help your team in order to level up and get more abilities. You start with only being able to close and lock doors, and also you press WASD to move your camera around, or tab if you want a map. And as you level up, you'll get the ability to lock down rooms, which will close doors and lock them all. Or you can turn the lights off, which also, 173 can move if the lights are off and don't have a flashlight. And it is planned to let 079 activate a nuclear warhead in the facility if you reach level 5. Now the most important job as 079 is to not be a dumbass. Which is why I never play 079. Alright, well, now that that's done. Ugh. Wait, there's more? Oh yeah. Later on the round, there will be two teams that respawn. NTF or Chaos Search. NTF, or known as Ninetale Fox, or as I like to call them, NFTs, are the offsite army for the SCP Foundation. And your goal is to stop the chaos of the facility by killing all the SCPs and making sure that D-Boys make it out. Chaos. As the name implies, you cause chaos in the facility. And your goal as Chaos, kill all the NTF and scientists and let your fellow D-Boys make it out. I let you know the classes, you should know all the non-playable SCPs. SCP-018 
a rubble that bounces around and kills any way that it hits. SCP-2176, a light bulb that has an EMP nade that turns off all the lights and locks all the doors in the room that it is thrown in. It will also disable SCP-079 if it is in the room for a short time. SCP-1853 is a goo that turns off all the stats related to combat. SCP-207 is a Coca-Cola that gives you infinite stamina and deals damage to you over time. Also, it deals much more damage when SCP-1853 is on. SCP-268 is a hat that makes you invisible when wearing it. SCP-500 are pills that cure any effect you have and heals you. SCP-1576 is a gramophone that leaves talk to the dead. And the most important SCP, SCP-959 is a machine in light that allows you to upgrade anything you put into it. And here's a chart that you can look at. Here, I'll give you 5 seconds to stare at it. In conclusion, SCP-SL is a great video game made by passionate developers. And if you have not played SCP-SL yet, go play it! I'll link it down in the description, and please, go play it. Also, if you watch me this far, I think you subscribe. Come on, just do it!